Hello, I'm going to demonstrate to you how I did the assignment 3 called the Match 3 Shiny Update. So what I did to update the sub.timer, I just iterated over the match. And, and based on how many tiles we have, we just added to the sub.timer. But when the shiny tile is found, and you can find it by using this function over here, it just checks if each for each tile if the flag is equal to true because we've, we've set the flag to false. True means there is a shiny, this is a shiny tile. We just, all we do is just so increment it, add it by eight. And then whenever we create a board to make sure that it starts out with flat blocks, we just, it depends on, we pass in the cell the level and then assign that level, whatever number we got to tile variety. So it depends, so the variety that we get, or the maximum variety number that we can get based, is based on whatever level we got. And it cannot go beyond six because you have six varieties. Eight colors, each number representing thing, a color uh, stored in tile color table. We randomize the tile variety, which can go beyond the number that we received here, here, based on what level we're at, and then Whenever we index, it will be different each time because i is randomized from 1 to 8. As for the score system for that, I created a score table from 50 that stores numbers from 50 to 175. So the higher the variety that we that the tile has, the higher the score that we earn. So for each, we iterate it six times until i is equal to variety, and then we just add it into the score yeah, using the index by indexing the score to the score table. Same thing down here except that we just take into account the shiny grid Y and then we iterate it eight times because eight tiles for each row. Same code and we set the yeah we've already talked about that but to 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 spawn a set the cell that shiny to true we just added extra code under timer that every increment shiny counter for every five seconds Set it to true. Set this to true. So this will be run. Assign tile row, tile call, random values, which are the coordinates of the tile on the board. When it, we iterate it until it's e until tile is equal to these coordinates, set that tile set that shiny to true. And then when it, we once we iterate, set it to false, and then set a new tile to true, so that it will be one tile, one shiny tile for each five seconds. But whenever it's so now whenever it's true, a particle system particles will be emitted white particles update and uh opaque white uh highlighted kind of effect using the percent blend blend mode will be added onto on top of the tile to make sure that we can only make a swap when there's a match i just copied the co same code between the highlighted tile and the selected tile using the distro code and then just copy and paste it whenever there's no match. And it has this it has the same effect of reverting it back to where it was before. But to make sure that uh, there are potential matches each time, we just, I copy the same code again, just change the name of the variables. And then I check, it's the same thing as how you do in self-calculate matches. You just iterate it each tile on the board, except now we're iterating each pair on the board and then we just swap, pretend swap them, the grids only on the table, and then we swap them back because we're just checking. If it's true, then there's nothing to worry about, it's all fine, but if it's false, it means that we can't find the match at all, which means that we have to set everything back to nil. We have to restart the whole board, um, call the respawn, respawn is sim similar to get falling tiles, spawn the tile, start from the, the top, then down to where it should be, and then that's pretty much it. So. Hope I've covered everything.